Hey guys, uh, the many solutions case video here, but I strongly encourage you to watch the one solution case video uh, because the start of that video has a lot of useful discussion on general approaches to solving congruence equations. And one of the things that came out of that um, broad discussion is what's written here, uh, which is that this equation has solutions if and only if the greatest common divisor of A and N divides B. Um, so, if the greatest common divisor of A and N doesn't divide B, then this equation has no solutions. But we're going to add in this video that if the greatest common divisor of A and N is called C, then um, one, as we already said, C must divide B in order for this equation to have solutions. But additionally, C is how many solutions this equation has. So C counts the number of unique solutions to this equation. And last but not least, N divided by C is how far apart those C solutions will be when written in ascending or descending order. Okay, cool. Let's see this in action. So let's start with an easy example. Suppose we're trying to solve 6x is congruent to 2 mod 4. Now, first, this is easy enough that we can solve it by inspection. So if we let, um, say, x equal 1, that will work, right? Because um, 6 will be congruent to 2 mod 4. So x equals 1 is a solution. We try x equals 2. It doesn't work. 12 is congruent to 0 mod 4. And then we try x equals 3. And that will work. Because uh, 18 is congruent to 2 mod 4. 18 is two more than a multiple of four, right? Cool. But we stop looking. We know these are the only uh, two unique solutions. And that's because, um, according to uh, what we wrote up here, uh, since the GCD of, in this case, six and four is two, we know that C is two, and that counts how many unique solutions we'll have. Yes, X equals five is a solution, but five is in the same congruence class as one mod four. In other words, five is already represented by the solution one. So five is not a unique new solution. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, and last but not least, we said that N over C is how far apart our solutions will be when we write them in ascending or descending order. We've written them in ascending order here, and clearly they are two apart. And that is supposed to be n divided by c and that's a case 4 divided by 2 is 2 yeah cool all right uh let's look at a harder example and then we'll conclude um so this is the harder example which is 49x is congruent to 28 mod 119 okay now uh, i guess it's kind of hard to figure out the GCD of 49 and 119, uh, but if you have trouble factoring these two numbers, then you could always use the Euclidean division algorithm. I'm not gonna do the Euclidean division algorithm uh, here because I'll dedicate a different video to examples on the Euclidean division algorithm, so look out for those. But I know the GCD of 49 and 119 is seven because I know that 49 factors is seven times seven, and then 119 factors is um, 17 times 7. And so um, I know that, um, yeah, I know. Um, okay, okay. Um, so 7 is C in this case. So we're saying that this equation has 7 solutions, 7 unique solutions. Um, all right. And furthermore, we're also saying that uh, N, which is 119 divided by C, uh, that is 119 divided by 7, um, 119 divided by 7, which according to this multiplication needs to equal 17, um, tells us how far apart those uh, seven solutions will be when written in ascending or descending order. Um, all right, so it doesn't look like a 17. It looks like a scared 17, if you've ever seen like a scared 17. There it is, more authoritative. Okay, cool. Um, now, 
Uh, let's start by finding one solution to this equation and we'll find all the other ones by uh, just adding 17 to that one solution repeatedly, right, until we've got seven of them. So like, you know, try x equals one, that clearly doesn't work. Try x equals two, it won't work, but x equals three will work. So x equals three is a solution. Therefore, we know that x equals 20 is a solution because that's three plus 17. And then we know that x equals, what's 20 plus 17, 37? That will work. We know that x equals uh, 37 plus 17, what is that? I don't know, that's, um, I don't know, like I'm bad at arithmetic, dot, 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 you get it, 